With 15 minutes of normal time remaining in its clash with Eddie Howe's Bournemouth on December 4, 2016, Liverpool was leading 3-1. Callum Wilson's penalty early in the second period had briefly halved the deficit after quick-fire first-half goals from and, but Imre can restored the two-goal cushion not long after the hour mark. But then, in the space of two minutes, Ryan Fraser and Steve Cook struck to pull Bournemouth level before Nathan Aki snatched three points in extraordinary fashion in stoppage time. Liverpool had been on the wrong end of one of the great comebacks. Why, more than six years on, are we reliving this nightmare? Well, remarkably, that was the last time that Liverpool led a match at half-time and ultimately went on to lose. The Reds have gone in ahead at the break on 117 occasions since winning a whopping 107-91. Five percent of those matches and drawing ten. The trouble is, this season, side has found itself trailing all too often. It has conceded the first goal in 16 out of 33 matches, or 48.5 percent, across all competitions. And it has only managed to open the scoring 14 times, with three games finishing goalless. It's inherently obvious why you would want your team to score first, but this adds another layer to it, Liverpool is imperious when it has the lead. Indeed, of the 14 matches referenced above, the Reds have won 13, with the only defeat coming away to Brighton in the FA Cup. On the flip side, they have only won 3 of the 16 games in which they have shipped the first goal. One player who's something of a specialist when it comes to breaking the deadlock is, who made his long-awaited return from injury this week after around four months on the sidelines. The Portuguese put Liverpool in front nine times last season, more than anybody else in the squad. Was the next best on eight, with Mane third on six. In his half hour or so on the pitch against Newcastle United, Hoda had four chances to score, two of them classed as big chances. He put a point blank header wide of the post after a perfect delivery from Andy Robertson, and then couldn't generate enough power to roll the ball into the net after going around Martin Dubrovka. Hoda's goal drought is now creeping towards 10 and a half months, stretching all the way back to the 2-2 draw with Manchester City on April 10. That's perhaps a slightly misrepresentative way of looking at it, because he's had two significant injuries in that time, but 23 games doesn't sound much better. Klopp, however, didn't sound too concerned in his post-match interview. Diogo could have scored, he told. Bobby Firmino started really well and then lost two or three balls that pretty much gave them counter-attacks. Getting through this is the next step for them. Klopp seems to believe that, when Hoda reaches full fitness and maximum sharpness, he will start scoring again. and one goal enough should be enough to transform his confidence. In a sense, his individual struggles go hand in hand with the team's wider problems. When he starts scoring again, the Reds might be able to establish the leads that have frequently eluded them. And thus a hidden formula for success may be unlocked.